I'm speaking to you from my book-lined lair, here in the depths of the Edverse. Four buttons surround the little window I'm peering out at you through, and occasionally those buttons get lonely, and they want to be reintroduced to all of you out there, so, well, above me is the shop button, which will take you to places where you can buy my stuff. Please do, because I like to eat. Below me is a subscribe button, which will lead to a wonderful state of affairs for us both, wherein you shall be alerted to neat things, as they become neat, or become things, or both. To your left of my smiling and interminably talking visage is a releases button, where you can pounce on my latest ebooks offerings. And to your right of me is the free vault, where, yes, free stuff lives, such as my ongoing gaming column entitled The Old Mage. Click those buttons. Make them feel wanted, needed, and even loved. Right. Happy now, little buttons? I hope so, because it isn't really my buttons I wanted to talk to you about. It's The Sundering. Yes, The Sundering Saga. Six books by six writers that explore what happens to different people in the Forgotten Realms during the tumultuous Sundering, wherein the worlds of Abir and Toril begin to move apart from each other, leaving Toril changed. You are there, gentle reader, on the spot, as some of the most important changes occur in front of your eyes. So let's take a quick look at the novels of the Sundering. First, back in August, came The Companions by Bob Salvatore, featuring Drista Urden. Then in October came The Godborn by Paul Kemp, featuring the son of Erevis Kale. The third Sundering novel was The Adversary by Aaron Evans. It came out in December and featured the tiefling Farida. Then in February, Richard Byers gave us The Reaver, featuring a new character, Anton Merivaldi. Just a week or so ago, Troy Denning introduced another new main character, Cleef Kenrick, in The Sentinel, which leaves my novel, The Herald, to wrap up the series. It should come out early in June and features, surprise, Elminster, not to mention Storm Silverhand, Hammeroon, and some very old friends and enemies Realms fans have seen before, though never like this. <laughs> I love these books. Each one is a cracking good story, and each one sort of stands alone, in the same way that you can read endless novels set in World War II and in involving different things about World War II, but they may, the six novels may not be a six novel series in which the action of one moves directly into the other, but rather they are six diff completely different standalone stories that have a few characters that appear in more than one book, but they're really concerned with different casts of characters and how they're dealing with the World War. Well, in the same way, the Sundering series is people all over the realms on how they deal with the Sundering. I hope you'll have as much fun reading my book, The Herald, as I had writing it. Oh, yes. In my book, the wrap-up book, it's romp time. With, of course, the fate of the world, nay, the multiverse, hanging in the balance. Which might have something to do with why Elminster is spending so much time disguised as an old woman, and Mert is spending so much time drinking his way to the bottom of tankards. This one, folks, as they say, has it all. If you love the realms... If you like wizards pulling out all the stops and spell battles, if you like to see armies on the march and cities flying through the sky and monks seasoning soup, you will want to read The Herald. Hurry! I've already started writing my next Realms book. Mm -hmm.